Hey guys, Joe with BitRaged. So I wanted to quickly give you an update on the state of Bitcoin and kind of where we're at here. We've gotten a couple comments on the channel, people saying, well, now the price is going up and it's just kind of gone up since uh, this morning here. Uh, about midnight is when this started. So a lot of people are saying, well, hey, now the price is going up. Do you still think that we're not in a bull trend? And honestly, I wait for confirmation as a trader. I don't make trades simply because the price is going up. You can get yourself into a lot of trouble. You can get yourself into a lot of traps. So a lot of people have said, well, hey, if you look at this, this is a clear head and shoulders pattern, and this indicates a bull trend. What you have to understand about that is you can place patterns on a chart all day long, and it doesn't make it true. So. This is possible. It's possible that this could be a head and shoulders pattern. This could indicate a bull trend. Here's the thing though. We saw no confirmation here. We saw no confirmation here and no confirmation here. So you have to look for confirmation. You can't just place a, a pattern on a chart and say, well, that's, that's what's going to happen. That's it. That's the end all be all. You have to wait for confirmation. You have to look for this to play out. And we've heard, well, this is head and shoulders. This is inverted head and shoulders. This is a cup and ladle. This is like every pattern imaginable. This is it, and this indicates a bull trend. Again, we wait for confirmation. So let me show you what I see on this chart. This is our big sell window here. This is resistance, and we have broken into it, and we've broken out of this trend line that we started back here on the 6th of January. So we've broken out of that, and we've attempted to move higher. Now, this is our box of resistance, right? So this is what we have to push through. So roughly 9,500 is going to be the point at which you're going to experience heavy resistance and we're either going to break that and move up or we're going to fall back off from there. And we're still at the point where this could be a trap, right? So we're still at the point where we could get to 9,500 and this could fail and we could fall back off. Now we do see a spike in volume. It is quite a bit of volume and this is a good indication. This is a good indication that we could break through this. We could definitely break through this 9500 here and move up in a channel similar to this because we have broken through our longer term downtrend uh, that we started a month ago. So if we do break through this 9500 we're looking at 10,000 to be our next line of resistance you could have sell orders at this point we could get to this point it could push through those sell orders disappear and we had a comment where one guy said that he trades via the order book he looks at the order book and he looks at places where there are a lot of volume and a lot of people buying or selling and trades that way the issue with that is the order book moves really quickly and we could have let's say 200 bitcoin in sell orders here at 10,000 we could get to that level and then those automatically disappear, right? They could get canceled. If we push through it, those become buy orders again, right? So it is possible that that could happen. So don't don't just look at the order book and say, well, there's sell orders at this point. Definitely get in and sell because you have to actually read the market. But 10,000 is our next line of resistance. If we push past 10,000, we're looking at somewhere in here, right? So we're looking at between 11,000 and 12,000. So 11,000 to 12,000 is going to be our box of resistance and 12,000 is a heavy line of resistance, right? So that's what I'm looking for. That's what I'm looking at. Uh, we're still developing here. Now, keep in mind that we're not telling you that you shouldn't buy or that you should buy. This is strictly our opinion, and your decision to buy in or to hold off is strictly based on your strategy and how you trade. We're looking at this, and we're seeing resistance at this point. So we still have to break through this, and if we do break through this, then I'll increase my position because we're going to move to about 10,000 and test that. If we break through 10,000, we're going to move to 11,000. 11 to 12,000. This is our box of resistance, right? So it is possible that this is a breakout and this is the confirmation that we're looking for. Again, we still have to break roughly 9,500 
in order for this to really make sense to move to 10,000. So I wait until we see absolute confirmation before I take a large position. So confirmation for me would be 9,500 and that's where I'm waiting to actually put in something more major. So it's also important to note that at 9,500, if we break through it, you're going to see a lot of buy orders at that point because people like even numbers to buy in at for some reason or another you'll see more buy orders at an even number and 9500 is one of those numbers where if we push through that it's going to be a psychological thing and we're going to push it further and likely see 10,000 and then 11, 12,000. So that's the state that's where I see it this could be the confirmation we're looking for I'm still waiting for it to break through about 9500 which would be our last level of resistance before this moves up higher so don't get greedy you know make logical decisions if you want to take a position we're not telling you not to if you don't want to take a position we're not telling you to we're simply saying that this is what the chart says this is what we're thinking we do see a lot of volume this could be the start of something that moves it higher and the start of a reversal this could be the confirmation that would make this pattern make sense. But again, that has to happen. And a lot of people look at a chart, put a pattern on the chart and say, well, this is going to happen even though we didn't see the confirmation. We didn't see confirmation here. We didn't see confirmation here. We didn't see confirmation here to say that this is a inverted head and shoulders pattern. And that is what you need to see. You can't just make a decision and trade willy-nilly and say, well, this looks like it. So even though we don't see confirmation, we're going to go with it because it is very possible that that could fall off on you and it could run away really quickly. And it's still possible that that could happen. So we could see something kind of like this. This could turn into heavy resistance. It could come back down. It also could come back to retest it. But the possibility is that it could fall off from there. So again, that's what we're thinking. It's also possible you could see something like this and that could hold and then we could move up higher from there. Obviously 10,000 would be another level of resistance. So if we break 9,500, that's going to be a good indication that we're going to move at least to 10,000. If we break 10,000, we're going to move up to 11 and 12,000, 12,000 being heavy resistance. It's important to note that you don't just get resistance from one point in the chart. You base that off of something else in the chart. So you look at the history, and that's what we're doing here. So why we say that 9,500 is a major level of resistance is just due to this here. So if we do break through this, then obviously that is going to be strong confirmation that this is going to hold as a bull trend at least till we get to 10,000. Now, it's possible that we get to 10,000 and that this just falls off and you have to be aware of that and you have to watch that as we go. So if we get to 10,000, it breaks through 10,000 and that holds as support. We could see this move higher again, 10. It could go to 11 or 12,000. If it passes about 12,000, there's not a whole lot of resistance from there until we get higher, you know, up into here. We do have some resistance but if we do pass 12,000 again that's going to be a big psychological thing for many people and we should see a lot more buy orders it is important to note as with anything there is a possibility for this to turn around and go south on you so just be aware of that if you look at a one hour chart here this is our one hour chart we got to about this point so a big run up to about this point here uh, we are experiencing resistance at this point, right? And we weren't able to continue this run. Now, this could be the pullback that would shoot it farther. And that you see that a lot. You see off a run like this, you see a pullback and then a continuation. And if the volume holds and the volume continues to build, we'll see that continuation. But you have to be aware of that. You have to think about that uh, going into this. So this is our 15-minute chart. And here at the top of this run here you see a pattern of indecision here and so it got dropped down to here spiked down to here and it got bought back up so the buyers are there it spiked up to here got sold off right so buyers are there and sellers are also here so there is indecision there's people that think well we should hold this position and there's sellers that think that this might be 
the top, right? Again, looking at the volume here, we do have a good chunk of volume and the volume is coming in. So that's a good sign, but obviously, again, we could come up to here, we could come up to 9,500, fall off. We could pass 9,500, get to 10,000 and fall off. But if we do pass 9,500, 10,000 is our next target. If we pass 10,000, 11,000, 12,000, that's our next target, the next point at which people will be selling. All right, so if we do fall back off, about 9,000 is going to be support since we did pass this. If we fall off and break through 9,000, well then you have to watch the market, you have to see what's going on. Obviously on the one day chart, you can see this a little better. We're experiencing heavy resistance here and we have to break this resistance to move to 10,000. There is resistance here. You can see that back here and also here. If we do break 10,000, 11,000, 12,000 is our next target. That's what we're thinking. That's our thoughts on today. And I hope that answers your questions. If you're waiting to get in, again, you can look at the chart. You can make those decisions. But I will say we haven't broken this level of resistance over here as of yet. It might happen. It's possible that that could happen, but we haven't broken it yet. We're waiting for that. At least I'm waiting for that. And this could be the confirmation we're looking for. We just have to let it develop. We have to let it actually break through resistance to confirm it because it is also possible that this is a trap and we could fall off from here. I didn't look at any indicators here. I didn't want to confuse you. And we had some people say, well, why don't you use Fibonacci retracements and... We didn't include those and we haven't included those in our analysis videos because we don't want to confuse you if you're brand new. It can be confusing using Fibonacci retracements. It can be confusing why those work. It can be confusing where to use them, how to use them. So we don't want to just make it completely complicated. We want to make it roughly simple so you guys can, can understand what we're saying. And support and resistance is essentially what Fibonacci retracements are anyways. You can see this on the chart without that tool. But it is a good tool and it is one we use. We do plan on releasing a video on that soon. Anyways guys, that's gonna pretty much do it for this video. Thanks for watching. If you're not subscribed, definitely go ahead and do that. We got a lot of videos planned and we got some live trading videos planned. That's been highly requested. Uh, there's a lot planned in the future, so definitely subscribe. Like the video if you liked it and leave a comment and let us know your thoughts on the current pattern we're in right now. Thanks for watching guys, take care.